fine so when this happens and to write this reaction properly what has happened is three alkene has reacted with one boron and we have got trialkyl boron fine no problem up till here so we have trialkyl um boron fine now now once this reaction has completed now we would add hydrogen peroxide in basic medium and now let's see what happens when we add hydrogen peroxide in basic medium now let, shall shall i rub this off oh now see we have trialkyl boron now this hydrogen peroxide has this kind of structure and when we have a basic medium then this hydrogen is abstracted from the base and we have we have hydrogen peroxide ion like this and this water comes out fine now this hydrogen peroxide is a better base than oh minus because of alpha effect as i have told you when i taught you perhaps inductive effect or uh, or uh, basicity the reason behind this is in hydrogen peroxide ion oxygen has lone pair and they have repulsion so when this lone pair on when this negative charge goes for a formation of a bond then this lone pair turns into a bond pair and repulsion between lone pair and lone pair is higher than lone pair and bond pair fine so better this negative charge forms a bond with some group so there is no lone pair now this is as a bond pair the repulsion would be minimized so this oxygen this negative charge has a greater tendency to act as a base rather than hydroxide ion fine so we have both oh minus and this peroxide ion but to act as a base preferably hydrox peroxide ion will act as a base now where should it act as a base we have boron boron has empty orbital fine so this hydrox peroxide ion would come and put its electron into the orbital of boron when it does that what we get is let me open it up and show you this is one of the alkyl group of the out of 3 and rest of the two i'm showing together fine so this is this is just trialkyl same as this now when when this peroxide ion put its electron into the orbital of boron this kind of structure would be formed we have three alkyl groups already on boron and this fourth group would come and when that comes it puts electron into the empty orbital of boron and boron develops a negative charge now once again boron will try and try to bring itself out of the misery of carrying this negative charge now we don't have a hydrogen that can be easily removed from boron we have a r group now i'm um, this this is this is the first time we are showing showing this kind of migration and later on during the preparation of phenol this kind of migration will reappear so let's understand what what can happen what can happen is this this r group cannot come out as hydride this r group cannot come out like alkyl and ion like this carrying negative charge on carbon because this is not a stable group so this won't come out but some other group can come out which group can come out is this is this is the hydrogen peroxide part and this is a anti bonding of this oxygen when this bond starts to get transferred into anti bonding from the front side as we have seen million times before 
this bond electronic density of this bond will go into the orbital of this oxygen and this would come out as OH minus and OH minus is a pretty good decent leaving group because oxygen is second most electronegative element can carry negative charge pretty well so OH minus will come out when OH minus comes out this comes out and this carbon forms a bond with this oxygen so the valent the on the octet of this oxygen there is there is no effect this oxygen is pretty healthy as it was before because this oxygen was forming a bond with this oxygen when it comes out this oxygen will be forming a bond with this carbon and the electron would also come into this orbital so this boron will get a plus charge and this minus charge already on it will get neutralized effectively so this boron will become neutral so what would happen is this OH minus will come out fine this R and this oxygen will form a bond so this R this R have shown bonded with this oxygen fine and rest of these two R group will be there's no space on this side so I'm so I'm drawing on the other side the two R groups will remain as it is fine so now we have boron and this alkoxy part is attached is 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 with boron fine now if we repeat the exactly same thing two more times now again boron has an empty orbital now again another hydrogen peroxide ion can come and put its electron into boron now this kind of migration as we have shown once that will again happen so there will be again another alkoxide part attached to with boron and when this step repeats three times third time two more times then both the rest of the two alkyl group will turn into alkoxy group like this fine so what we will have after repetition of the step two more times is this R part will have now tri alkoxy boron instead of tri alkyl boron fine Now this, uh, this, 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 this is hydroboration. Hydroboration has, uh, has been done. Hydroboration has been done. And now we are going to, for, going for the last step of oxidation. Now intuitively looking at the product and this intermediate, you can see, now all we require is a little push. If someone pushes and this alkoxide comes out and later it will grab hydrogen from anywhere and this alkoxide will be turned into this alcohol fine so that push would be done by this hydroxide ion that we have taken in the alkaline medium so so all that is required now i'm rubbing rubbing this off all that is required is from reaching here you you put hydroxide now there will be three hydroxide for each alkoxide and when there is a sn2 reaction when there's a SN2 reaction, this alkoxide would come out. This alkoxide will come out as RCH2, CH2O minus. Now all the three alkoxide will come out and we will have NaBO3. Na3BO3. Sodium borate. That alkoxide, three alkoxide will get attached to boron. And there will be ionization of each OH because medium is basic. So each H will come out because there are more hydroxide ion in the system. It will turn into borate ion and there will be sodium to counter this negative charge. So we'll have sodium borate. But our concern is with this alkoxide ion. And H plus would be given by the water molecule in the system or with the hydroxide in the system. Anyone will, any, any, any species will give it S plus. And this alkoxide will turn into alcohol this is the mechanism for the reaction now you what you have to remember as a crux of this reaction is in this reaction we have anti markovnikov addition of water without rearrangement that means among the two carbon which is forming alkene you have to choose one which is least least or less substituted out of the two 
So out of the two, this carbon is less substituted. We have added OH here, other carbon will have H. That's how the addition of water would be done. And why it should be so? This you understand why it should be so because boron comes and asks for electron. There's a tendency of formation of carbocation. If boron asks with this carbon, carbocation on this carbon. So when boron get attached, the carbon with which boron get attached ultimately is having oxygen and ultimately is having OH. So that's the reason. Looking at the mechanism, it, it's, it's pretty clear that why it should be so. And indeed it is so. And what you have, what you have to remember is hydroboration oxidation gives us addition of water as per anti markinov cough rule without rearrangement. Now let's solve some problems.